two annexation-related bills which could potentially impact the controversial annexation proposal involving the village of Curious Joel and the town of Monroe are now one step closer to becoming law. This after they pass with overwhelming support in Senate on Tuesday. State Senator Bill Larkin co-sponsored the bill and calls it good public policy. The bill just set standards that everybody has to meet. Now the standard is up to the governor. The assembly passed it, we passed it. I would hope the governor would take heed and expedite the action that's required to make this bill law. The bills were created by Assemblyman James Scoofus, who successfully rallied for support in the assembly just last week. If signed by the governor, the bill would require county planning departments to review annexation plans before making a decision on whether to approve them. The other would require the DEC commissioner to act as lead agency during disputes. What we did is we made all of our members, both sides of the aisle, aware of the complexity of this issue. 507 acres was a big deal in, in our area. Just last week, Orange County Executive Steve Newhouse announced that the annexation was not in the overall public interest of the county. This after announcing the results of the county's environmental impact report. Newhouse says he is pleased with the bill's passage, but that it might be too late to affect the current proposal. I wish it was a year ago so we had some time before the annexation had moved along so quickly. This annexation is going to be decided by the fall, so really time is of the essence and that's the next step for this. A representative from Curious Joel would not appear on camera, but they did release a statement condemning the bills. It read in part, quote, and while we respect the legislative process, we know that prior to being advanced to the governor for consideration, his counsel will scrutinize the bill for its form, merit, and constitutionality. Those bills now head to the desk of the governor, who has 10 days to either sign or veto them. The decision ultimately, however, lands in the hands of the two municipalities. But they would need a supermajority vote to override county planners should they decide to recommend rejecting the request. Bridget Saige, Time Warner Cable News.